What is up, YouTubers? Jerry the Mining Monkey signing in today on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Sorry I haven't been on uh, online for a while. Um, just been dealing with a lot of stuff. Health issues and just uh, everyday life and just trying to make a living, guys. Anyways, it's uh, 50 degrees outside. I figured um, I'd do a, an update tool on the latest um, Nocta Macro update tool, which I have not had a chance to actually use since the old update tool was uh, made available. And um, so what we're going to do, we're going to uninstall every aspect of the old Windows uh, Nocta Macro update tool. So you, you're going to go into the control panel of your Windows PC and um, we'll show you how to do that. You're just going to simply just type in control panel in the search of your computer and uh, you're going to click on control panel here and then you're going to go to programs and features you're going to click on programs and features and we are going to remove the old stuff associated with Nocta Macro prior to the new Windows Update tool so in this case the old Nocta Detector Legend Installer or something similar we're just going to Highlight it, right click, and select uninstall. You're going to get a prompt, and you're going to select yes, I, I am sure I want to uninstall it. And <clears throat> it's going to remove. It's a fairly quick uninstall. If it takes more than a minute, then there's something else underlying with your computer. It's probably a little old. And um, just bear with it. It'll eventually come out. And that's about it. I don't think there's anything else. Actually, I've gone through the whole, yep, no drivers associated with it. It is all clean, good to go. And just for safe measures, we are going to actually reboot the computer one more time just to make sure that there's nothing underlying or affecting the computer. Okay, we're back from the reboot. And so now what we're going to do is we're on uh, Nocta Macro's website and we're going to click on the legend the reason I'm going through these steps is uh, just in case you're a newbie at downloading this new update tool and you're really unsure and you're gonna click on software update here on the top left what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on download the legend update tool for Windows or Mac OS depending on what operating system you have if it's a, a Mac then uh, you're on your own um, it, this is strictly just for a Windows system. The latest version build is uh, version 110 and it is 2023-01-13. So um, that's the latest build. You're going to click on it. You're going to download it. Take note of where it's downloaded. I usually like to install stuff or put stuff on the desktop. Okay, Just makes it easier to find. So you're going to save it. You'll notice that it's going to download. And once it downloads, what you're going to do is you're going to click Show in Folder, and it's going to open up the location of where your file is. You're going to right click your zip file, okay? This is a uh, Windows 11 so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click extract all and you're gonna leave the path you're gonna leave this destination file and extract exactly where it's going to it's still going to your desktop so you're gonna click extract once it's extracted you're going to up, uh, up double click this folder and now you're gonna double click the legend update tool okay and so we are now here at this screen here it says with the legend turned off connect the USB cable and the legend so right now my legend is off I have my USB communication cable attached to my communication update port right here and now I am going to simply just plug in my USB cable and upon plugging it in you'll notice that um, the screen is gonna light up on the legend okay so I'm gonna plug it in I'll let you know when I plug it in but I want you to look at the screen so that you guys know what happens as soon as you plug it in okay 
it just lit up. That means there's power going to it. And now you're simply just going to click on this arrow right here. You see that arrow? You're going to click on that. It's already plugged in. Click the next arrow. Press and hold the up. Press and hold the plus up button, all right? Until up appears on the legend, all right? So I'm going to click the plus button here, which is this guy right here. See that plus up? I'm going to click it, hold it. And now it's updating here. And then I'm going to, once again, click the arrow. And there it is, okay? Version 110 Beta 2. My current software version is 109. I'm going to simply, simply click Update. <clears throat> Don't double click it. Just the moment that you click it, just wait, okay? Obviously, do not disconnect or turn off the legend. Make sure you have plenty of battery on your laptop. If it dies during midstream, you're going to hose up the firmware on your legend. Um, for better best practices, just simply just plug the power adapter from your laptop into a power source, okay? So you'll notice here that there's a, a, a percentage uptick here. That's basically letting you know that 99% it's loading and version 110 on the top right hand screen. You see that? We are now updated and ready to go on the legend. It says the legend will restart automatically. The installed version will be displayed at the upper right corner of which um, I just showed you. Okay, so quit. Now, one thing that I'm going to measure, uh, one thing that I'm going to mention is I'm going to mute this thing for a minute. Once it is updated, safely uh, remove your USB communications cable from your uh, update port of your legend. Close all of your windows on your laptop. And we're going to do one more thing before we end this tutorial. So I'm not sure why, but I have not heard any of the reasoning behind resetting back to factory defaults from any Nocta Macro forums, videos, or posts. But in the legend section of the Nocta Macro website, in big, bold, red letters, it says, once your device has been updated, please revert back to factory settings, or factory defaults. And there it is. For some reason, I don't know why. They should, it'd be nice if they mention why um, we need to, restore back to factory defaults. Maybe there's some bugs uh, attached or associated with not going back to factory defaults. I, I have no idea. But it'd be nice um, that Nocta Macro would explain why. Um, people are just curious, you know. I'm curious myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just that. I'm going to revert back to factory settings. This doesn't revert your, your legend back to the original 1.05 or whatever your ship date was when you first received your legend. This is just going to revert everything back to factory defaults with the latest version of 110. So what you do is you're going to click on your settings button here at the bottom right of your legend interface here. And you're going to notice that here at the, the little practice band here at the bottom, you're just going to navigate left and right until you get to the little people person, which the people icon, it'll start flash, flashing. That people icon represents your user profile. And you're gonna select, when it's flashing, you're gonna select the pinpoint button. Sorry, the plus button. You're gonna click the plus button, not the not the pinpoint, but the plus button, and you're basically going to select it by doing that, okay? And what you do is you're going to press and hold the pinpoint and accept reject button until FD, or factory default, appears on the, on the screen, and it'll disappear after two seconds. So now that we have our user profile, sorry about the blurriness, 
Now that we have the user profile blinking and we have our user profile one here selected by pressing the plus up button, we're gonna hold down the pinpoint reject button and nothing happens. Still nothing. All right, hold on a second. Let me figure out what's going on here. Kind of funky, but let me try it again. All right, I'm gonna click the settings button. Got my little user profile people button blinking. And I'm gonna make sure that this little plus signal right here, this plus icon is there. Hold down the pinpoint button. There we go, factory default. We are good to go. You'll notice that there was an increase in the uh, loudness of um, the legend. And, um, yep, because the, uh, the sensitivity was at about 17 just before I actually pressed it. Now it's back up to um, full sensitivity, which was 25. Um, or the default was 25. Alrighty. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Jerry the Mining Monkey signing out. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't seen any of my videos, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get some more videos going. And, uh, man, somehow my GoPro got destroyed somehow. I'll tell you guys about it one day. Anyways, later. Have a good one.